Hey, I'm Dave, and we are getting out of the office to Detroit. On this adventure, we went to Detroit Maker Fair with our friends Simi C and C. It was awesome. The event itself was held at the Henry Ford Museum, which has just an amazing amount of cool cars, a lot of technology that they were talking about. As a car guy, I was pretty much in heaven. There are a bunch of really cool cars here at the Henry Ford Museum. Ones like this in particular are my favorite. After quite some time of geeking out on those awesome cars, I went to Maker Faire itself to see what was happening and if I could find anything 3D printed. It is a really nice day here in Detroit. Uh, headed into Maker Faire day one. I think we're going to see a lot of cool stuff. I am going to be on the hunt particularly for some 3D printed goodness. I bet we can find quite a few things. The first thing I ran into that really caught my eye was a spool of Matter Hackers filament. It happened to be on this like 3D printing tool kit cart that's built at the tech shop. So this is something that uh, the tech shop is making so that they can provide sort of ready-made kits for schools and STEM teachers and tech classes to just adopt 3D printing and have it ready to go. The kit has all the tools you need, comes with a 3D printer, has the spools of filament on the side. These guys are our friends. We love that we are helping them push this technology. It even has the support of a bunch of local companies. You know, Ford itself is sponsoring this project to go on. It was really cool. I was cruising around Maker Faire with my friends Jim and Chuck, the creators in the community. We'll link to their YouTube channels down below. For sure, check them out. And they told me about something we needed to see at the show a 3D printed roller coaster. And I didn't really know what this meant. Then we met Matt. He's the creator of this like miniature 3D printed roller coaster that actually functions. It's like a work in progress and there's still some things to iron out, but the thing actually rolls and it is really awesome. Hey, I'm Matt Schmatzer. Uh, this is a 3D printed roller coaster based off of Vertigo at King's Island. Uh, it's 125th scale, it's all printed in PLA. Right now it's a work in progress here at uh, Maker Fair. Um, eventually when it's done, it will be gravity powered, it will be chain driven up to the top, it will be dropped, go through the circuit, um, come back up to the second tower, drop again, go back through backwards. Right now, it's a static model, just because I haven't had time to get it all done. Lots of, uh, how many how many hours of printing do you have in it? So right now on the track alone, it's 450 total hours of printing. Wow. And it's about 12 hours per track on average. And each train car takes about eight hours. After talking with Matt in some depth, he told me that he actually designed this roller coaster, exported it from the roller coaster simulation program into SolidWorks, mirrored it in SOLIDWORKS to make sure that the rails actually were always the same distance apart and that is like blows my mind that this is even possible because the coaster carts actually roll on those rails they always have to be the same distance apart anyhow he's planning to share all these files with the community we will definitely keep you posted on progress and we'll be following up with Matt it's a really awesome project and I'm super stoked to see it actually finished The next thing that caught my eye that was 3D printed at Maker Faire was these little robots that were cruising around. There was a big table, there were a bunch of kids huddled around the edge of the table, and these little robots were pushing beads all around. So I talked to the founder, Keith, of Convert. Turns out he is a mechanical engineer. He started tutoring some people, some kids on like how some basic things worked. And that sort of scaled into this whole project of his where he's now integrating and teaching kids STEM and STEAM and how mechatronics are working and how to do Arduino. So these little robots that are, are cruising around pushing beads, the kids can control them with these little levers. They're all Arduino powered and based on uh, the open source equipment and everything like that. It's really cool. These kids get a sense for how to make little robots, how to use 3D printing to have these robots actually move around. 
And the kids were having so much fun. I, I found myself actually having a ton of fun watching these kids just pushing things around, but figuring out how those controls and those little details. Check out Convert. They are doing really awesome things for teaching the community and teaching kids how robotics work. After Maker Fair, we had an event. It was hosted at i3 Detroit. Certainly go check out their Maker Space. It's one of the most awesome ones I've ever seen with a ton of equipment. Anyhow, we hosted a meetup there with Simi CNC and Ultimaker and Matter Hackers. A bunch of our friends from the community came. It was a really fun night. Things got a little fuzzy. It's good to be back home, and uh, we're excited for the next time to get out of the office. We'll keep you posted. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.